have been watching my family fight for federal recognition for a very long time, and it is time. The fact that we're not recognized is, it's just wrong to begin with. Our name is everywhere. Our language is everywhere. We've existed always. So even the reasons for not recognizing us are not valid. Chinook justice is, it's, it's long past due. We are proud to be Chinook. For me as a Chinook person, it can be incredibly frustrating, you know, to live in Oregon, to go to school in Oregon, to work in Oregon, and, and hear the nine federally recognized tribes of Oregon. When we call out and we say, you know, we honor the nine federally recognized tribes of this land, who does that leave behind? Recognition probably it would have meant that we wouldn't have had to sacrifice so much to try to make a living here. It's the most amazing thing that they're in the history books, but they aren't currently a recognized tribe. Federal recognition is a legal codification of the relationship between the United States government and the Chinook Indian Nation. Federal recognition doesn't bestow sovereignty on the Chinook Indian Nation. That's a misconception. Sovereignty is inherent. It comes from the land and from the people, the ancestors, from our hereditary leaders. There's a lot of things that not having federal acknowledgement does. First and foremost, it means that the protections that Congress has enacted to protect tribes do not apply to us. It does not apply to our lands. It does not apply to our waters. It does not apply to our people. When our people back in 1851 signed the treaties, the Tansy Point treaties, and said they, they wouldn't leave, to be removed to the eastern part of the Oregon Territory. They wouldn't leave the bones of their ancestors. I'm literally reminded of that. I'm still here. Our ancestors signed those treaties in an act of protest to really stand up for our people and preserve our way of life. My great, great, great grandmother uh, when she was filling out an application to receive an allotment on the Quinault Reservation, wrote this quote, Mother was associating with Indians all her life and was always trying to get her Indian rights. Her mother was one generation from Lewis and Clark. That's how early our people lost our rights. Throughout my involvement with the tribe, I've watched elders family members die fighting for recognition and supporting recognition. And now I've moved into the spot where I myself am almost an elder. And I wonder, will we be recognized before I go? My cousin talked me into coming on to council 22 years ago, and I've been on council ever since, trying to carry out that good work that they started way back in 1851. Not continuing the battle would be to shame, shame our ancestors and to not do the work that's going to provide for our generations to come. Reading letters that are 100 years old and still having to fight the same fight they did is, there aren't even words to describe it. Recognition for me isn't about getting anything or having anything given to us. It's about healing. It's about providing programs and opportunities to help heal the trauma that's only the equivalent of two grandmothers' lives old. It's helping get families whole again. Being a Potawatomi, I'm as lucky. We, ha we are federally recognized. And so I get the benefits of medical supplies and treatments of any kind. And just tribe has been short-changed since day one. I've had my, my son, who's a straight A student, qualify for every scholarship, could not get this scholarship due to them not being recognized the Chinook tribe. Being a council member, you know, one of the things that really, you know, hurts me the most is the fact that without the federal status, we're not able to provide for our people get the health care that the people need. You know, we got elders that first thing they may need housing. The other thing is they may need repairs or so forth. When I look at other tribes and the programs they have that help people, 
you know, it really hurts Chinook, you know, and hurts me to uh, think that we can't provide any of that stuff. The other thing I think about with federal status as well is to have a true uh, place at the table to where we can uh, uh, not only make decisions for Chinook, but make, help make decisions that will uh, take care of all of Indian country. I know what tribal communities can do for their members. It absolutely hurts to not be able to do for our folks what our neighboring tribes are able to do for theirs. Not having federal recognition means that our children are not protected and many of our children are still being taken away from our community. It also means that we don't have access to important services like mental health care. Our community struggles with the impacts of settler colonialism and we need that relief. What having federal recognition would mean is that we could invest in infrastructure. We can mitigate natural disasters and ultimately the counties could benefit from that. I don't need the federal government to tell me that I am who I am. I just want them to recognize finally that they know who I am. It's imperative that we provide our, our current youth within our communities the education that they need to work towards all the climate action. Indigenous peoples make up 5% of our global population and within that we provide 80% of our biodiversity and uplift that. So if we can do something now to protect our indigenous communities, I think that we would be setting ourselves up overall, indigenous communities or non-indigenous communities, for a better future altogether. I'm still here. We are still here. And it's really time to do justice, to have mercy, and to acknowledge the Chinook Indian Nation as living people and heirs of a great nation. No tribal community should be able to look at the Chinook story, Chinook history, and not want to support us. Please recognize Chinook now. Watla, Ayamasi. Punchy flush dum dum naika paswa what the news couple masaga. Ay masi, ay masi.